love this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness, when you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. Indeed. The curse is still present, of course. Just veiled and at arm's length for now. Not a trick I can repeat often, but tonight... Tonight is different. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of... beauty and wonder. And with company to match. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Babe or crone, coward or hero, death is assured. Mistress' forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. My face could scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. One moment with you could sate me for a lifetime and prize the fear from my heart. I'm so very glad you came to share this with me. I know this is all unreal, but I created it for you. You must know that you're, you're very special to me. If things were different, if we were home, I'd have taken time to do things properly, to say it all better. But time is short. I'm in love with you. You're a bad liar. I lived the life of a hermit for some time before I met you. Safer for all, but not conducive to pleasures of the flesh. I want it to be perfect. To bond with you in the way the gods do, intertwining our spirits in visions of the weave. Are you sure? I could conjure up any sight that you could dream of. And a few you could not. I could use the weave to make us feel sensations beyond reckoning. I could do more than woo you. I could wow you. How about the perfect night in Waterdeep? Yes? Let's imagine how it would be. The scene is this. You and I stand in the room that is the center of my universe. The sculptures, the paintings, the walls enlivened by the spines of a thousand books. The grand piano plays the Lyrian suites all by itself. And as we look out beyond the arches that lead to the terrace, we see the weary sun take its daily dive into the sea.
my favorite spot. Many times, evening turned to night and back to daybreak once more while I sat here, lost in words. dangerously while I still can. This one here is called The Art of the Night. It details the first thousand nights of a newlywed king and queen. They turned everything they did into an art. The art of conversation, the art of taste, time honored and newly acquired. The art of the body, the exploration and acceptance of the self and the other. The art of the night itself, I say we take a page from their book. Then let's set the book aside and be blank slates on blank sheets. Delightfully new. What do you say? The old ways, then. If that is what you wish, so be it. A small gesture towards your comfort. <laughs> 